Tesla's upcoming Model 2 has been the talk of the town for quite some time now, with sightings of the car throughout the year keeping enthusiasts on itch. Spotted under Tesla's typical camouflage, which is used for unreleased models, the Model 2 has been a mysterious presence. The fact that it's smaller than the Model Y and has been showing up frequently around Tesla's Fremont facility signals that its release is approaching. And this comes right after Tesla made waves by launching its robotaxi service to a select group of customers in Austin. With the Model 2 expected to be priced between $17,500 and $25,000, depending on whether buyers qualify for the federal EV tax credit, it's clear that this vehicle is a game-changer in the affordable electric vehicle market. For years, Tesla's focus has been on premium vehicles, so creating a car priced under $30,000 while maintaining the quality Tesla is known for is no small feat to make this affordable EV a reality, Tesla has had to make compromises in design and features, but they believe it's worth it. The Model 2's exterior is intentionally basic, with a minimalistic interior, and the performance is decent, nothing extravagant, but it still offers the core experience that Tesla buyers expect. Some critics suggest that Americans, on average, prefer larger cars and aren't keen on compact vehicles, so the Model 2's small size might be a challenge in the U.S. market. However, others argue that with the right pricing, this car could be a hit among budget-conscious drivers. What do you think? Is the Model 2 too small for U.S. buyers, or is it just the right move? Early rumors had suggested that the Model 2 would be a hatchback, but recent leaks and official statements from Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, confirmed that it will actually be a compact crossover. This is a significant shift, and it makes sense for several reasons. Crossovers are incredibly popular right now, especially in the US, Europe, and China. They provide more interior space, higher ground clearance, and the ability to tackle a wider variety of terrains. This makes them perfect for urban and suburban drivers who want a versatile, everyday vehicle. Moreover, a compact crossover design positions the Model 2 to compete with other popular models like the Volkswagen ID.3 and Toyota Corolla Cross but with a price tag that puts it within reach for many more people. By using design elements borrowed from the Model Y, Tesla can keep production costs down while still giving the Model 2 the same familiar look and feel that Tesla buyers have come to know and love. This approach helps ensure that the Model 2 doesn't feel like just another cheap car, but rather something that still embodies Tesla's brand. The Model 2 will be built on the same production lines as the Model 3 and Model Y, rather than a completely new, untested line. This decision will help keep costs low while maximizing efficiency at Tesla's factories, especially at the gigafactories in Shanghai and Texas. The Model Y's production line in China, for example, can assemble a car in just 33 seconds. This efficiency will be crucial in meeting the expected high demand for an affordable EV like the Model 2. In addition, Tesla has invested in a larger gigacasting machine to help produce the Model 2's underbody. This new machine can cast the underbody in a single piece, which is a major improvement over the previous process. Not only does this speed up production, but it also reduces the risk of assembly errors, lowers the number of parts needed, and increases the overall reliability of the car. While the Model 2 will be a more basic vehicle, it will still include all the essential features that buyers expect from an electric car. To keep costs down, Tesla has stripped away luxury features like leather seats, premium sound systems, and panoramic glass roofs. The interior will feature fabric seats, and there will be no seat heating. The car will also come with a simpler sound system, smaller wheels, and fewer exterior color options. Despite these changes, the Model 2 will still be a solid, reliable electric car. The Model 2 will be rear-wheel drive and will come with a single motor. It's expected to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 7 seconds, with a top speed of 112 miles per hour. While those numbers aren't as impressive as the Model 3 or Model Y, they're more than adequate for most drivers, and the car will still outperform most gas-powered cars in its price range. Battery life is another important consideration, and the Model 2 is expected to feature a 53 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate LFP battery pack. This battery type is known for being low cost, durable, and safe. With this battery, 
the Model 2 is expected to have a range of at least 250 miles, which is more than enough for daily commuting and running errands. The battery will cost around $3,000, making up a small portion of the car's overall price. While the Model 2 will not offer a long-range version, Tesla's decision to focus on the standard 250-mile range is a smart one. Offering a longer-range option would push the price higher and compromise the car's affordability. Tesla is positioning the Model 2 as an everyday car for people who don't need an extended range, while those who require more range can opt for the Model 3 or Model Y. As for the federal tax credit, it plays a huge role in making the Model 2 affordable. Buyers who qualify could receive a $7,500 discount, effectively lowering the car's price to as low as $17,500. This makes the Model 2 a direct competitor to budget gas cars like the Toyota Corolla Cross, which is priced similarly. But this also creates a challenge for Tesla. If the tax credit is reduced or eliminated in the future, Tesla may have to lower the Model 2's price to maintain its competitiveness, which could squeeze profit margins. Despite the stripped-down features and moderate performance, the Model 2 has the potential to become Tesla's best-selling vehicle. With a starting price of $25,000, it's not just competing with other EVs like the Nissan Leaf and Chevrolet Bolt, it's also going head-to-head -head with budget gas vehicles. And with production already planned to take place at gigafactories in Shanghai and Texas, Tesla is well-positioned to meet global demand, especially in regions like China and Europe. The model may second not be flashy, but it represents Tesla's commitment to making electric vehicles accessible to the masses. It's a car for everyday drivers who want to take part in the electric revolution without breaking the bank. If Tesla can balance its production costs and pricing strategy, the Model 2 could reshape the affordable EV market and give the company the boost it needs to continue leading the charge towards sustainable energy. With a launch expected sometime in Q4 2025, the Model 2 could soon be arriving at showrooms. And when it does, it may just be the car that finally makes electric vehicles a mainstream choice for everyone.